Hey everyone, it's Mike the Scrapping Guy here with another video tutorial for you. And in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the paintbrush and uh, create a straight line using the paintbrush. It's actually incredibly easy and I'm also going to show you uh, some of the reasons why you'd want to actually do that in the first place. Now I just have a kind of an open uh, blank file here. And what I'm going to do is try to draw a straight line or paint a straight line with the paintbrush and to see how successful I am with that. So I'm going to make sure my paintbrush tool is selected. Make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of see it here. And I'm just going to draw going across with my mouse. And you can see that's not a very good job. Let me just go ahead and try it again. Try to get it as straight as I can. Oh, towards the end there, kind of messed up. It'll probably take me quite a few times just to get it just the way I wanted to get it with the, uh, with the mouse. But there's a real simple way to do it also with the mouse. It'll be a perfect straight line every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my brush also selected. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create my first circle with that or the brush, whatever brush you're using. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hold my shift key down and click the mouse again and boom. You can see that it actually creates or paints a straight line going across real nice. And what I can also do, if I don't click anywhere else and I hold the shift key down, it will actually create another straight line from where I previously stopped right to my new section again. And I'm going to try it one more time and then go up here and do it again. That's almost a square, but you kind of get the point where wherever you um, stop and if you hold the shift key down and you click it, that's where it creates a straight line to again. So that's a real easy way to create a straight line using the paintbrush tool. Now let me go ahead and give you an example of why you'd want to do that. Um, it's actually a lot of times I, what I try to do is I can use it for shading on some of the uh, embellishments that I want to make. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a quick, uh, let's say create a quick picture frame here. Uh, let's see, let me just pick a somewhat nice color. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and pick kind of a yellow one here and very easily I'm just going to go and using my rectangular marquee tool just go ahead and create a rectangle or actually well somewhat of a square rectangle I'm going to fill that in and I'm going to go ahead and click the inside and I'm going to delete that out so we now have our basis of a picture frame here now what I'm going to do is go and I'm going to select with the magic wand tool the actual frame or the yellow that's going around for the uh, borders of the frame. And I'm going to go and I'm going to choose another color. A little bit of a darker color here. I'm going to go back to my paintbrush tool. I'm going to choose kind of a softer paintbrush. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So there we go. I'm going to go up to my opacity and I'm going to bring it down to say 50 percent. We'll see how that looks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this inside corner and I'm going to click and I'm going to go over to my other corner, hold the shift key down and click that. Go down to this corner, holding the shift key down, click there, hold the shift key down once again and come back up and click there. Now you can see just by simply painting that straight line going across you can see that it's giving it an illusion of 3D or three-dimensional and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing on these outside corners click there, hold the shift key down, click it again shift key, click there and back to where we started. So there we have it we just created an easy quick picture frame that looks uh, uh, as a three-dimensional frame by creating a square using the marquee rectangular marquee tool and then using the a softer paintbrush going around using straight lines for the painting. Okay, what I'm going to do is give you another example of why you'd want to do something like this, painting straight. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to go and create a new blank file. This time we're going to keep it 12 inches wide. I'm going to change it to say an inch high. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a ribbon out of this using the straight line painting technique again. And this time I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose a different paintbrush. 
Uh, let's go ahead and choose, well, let's say a star. See how that works out. Make the brush a little bit bigger so it kind of fills the ribbon here. Now, if you look up here, you'll see that the stars are scattered all over the place. What we need to do is make that into a straight line instead. So I'm going to come over here to my options. I'm going to click on that. And we have set up a scattered uh, at 26%. I'm going to change that down to zero. So I'm going to make sure everything is set up at zero right now, including the spacing, just to kind of show you. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the star there. Go to the end. Click on it again. And you can see that it actually draws a straight line going across, which is actually a little bit of a kind of a cool effect because it has the actual star here, but then it goes across and creates a little pointed line there. So that's actually kind of cool uh, within it itself. We're going to try something a little bit different. I go ahead and control Z my way out of there. I'm going to choose two completely opposite colors. Let's go ahead and choose kind of a red as the one color on the color, color swatch. We'll go ahead and choose green for the other one. And now what we're going to do is go back up to our options again. And this time I'm going to change the hue jitter to maybe around 86, 87 percent. And I'm going to keep the scattered zero and the spacings. This you kind of got to experiment with it. But let's start off with say 26, 20, let's say 25 percent and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the star there. Actually, you know what? My opacity is back. It's still at 50. Let me change that to 100. There we go. Click on the star there, and I'll hold the shift key down. Click on it again. And now you can see that it creates green and red stars, kind of going across, but they're still kind of all together. Kind of hard to see exactly what they're doing. Let me uh, control Z my way out of there. And what I need to do is change the spacing. So let's try let's try 51 percent. This is going to be hit or miss basically depending on the size of the brush you're working with. Oh, getting a little bit there, a little bit better. Let's take it up to maybe, we'll say 75. Click it again, hold the shift key down. Actually that looks kind of cool. Now you can see that it is creating the star and by changing that hue jitter up here it actually goes back and forth between the green and the red as it as it paints out these stars which gives you kind of a neat effect there so that's a real easy way to create a kind of a unique ribbon going across the um, your design let's try it let's try another paintbrush instead of that star let's go and try let's see what else I got here uh, oh, here's a leaf go ahead and make it bigger so it fits in there uh, we might have to change that spacing again. Oh, actually, we have the scatter. What sometimes happens is it'll save the uh, coordinate, or actually the numbers of your settings here from the last time you used the paintbrush. So apparently, I had the scatter set on there from before. So let's go back up here to 75. And try that again. And actually, I don't think I had the hue set up. So let me change the hue jitter, jitter to. I'm going to say 99, see what that does. So again, create the first one. Hold the shift key down, create the next one. And here it actually makes different sizes, which is actually kind of cool. And it creates the uh, different colors going through also. But the, the key to this is it definitely keeps it in a straight line. If we tried to paint those ourselves, we could probably do it. But it's much more difficult and a little more time consuming than doing it using the shift key, which is a lot easier to do. So let me go ahead and actually maybe let's see if I make this a little bit bigger. Click that up. I guess it's just going to be changing between the two because it's going to go ahead and create small ones and, and skinny ones and short ones and different color ones and flip them around and do all kinds of cool stuff. But once again, it's still within that straight line. So your, your imagination can go crazy by just choosing different paint brushes, uh, changing the colors around and creating these kind of ribbons or like I did on the previous one creating uh, some shading to create a 3D look for your uh, different embellishments but the key like I said and the main tip for this video is to hold the shift key down when you're painting from one point to another to create a straight line for your paint job so there you go there's another tip and good luck with your different overlays and hopefully you'll be able to use this tip and create some really cool digital uh, scrapbooking designs